What seeds would you recommend for eating and why? Well, all, all plants produce seed and they're all good. And you, and you think about seeds, the power in seeds is amazing. I use the example of a celery seed. A celery seed is almost like dust, it's so tiny. But in that seed is enough power to produce a stem and two leaves before there's any roots that they can make out of the soil. All of that is in the seed. Seeds are concentrated food, all of them. And they're all good. I, I, I eat any seed. There's just no seed I would eat because it's just major concentrated food. Okay. Um, <laughs> what healthy food do children like to eat? I have kids come here, people bring them on tours, and, they're, and, they, and they eat everything in my garden and love it. Everything. And their parents are shocked. Says, we, they won't eat this at home. I says, there's nothing wrong with your kids. You see they're eating this because it tastes good. The stuff you're giving doesn't taste One good. If you grow healthy food in, in a good garden, they love all of it because it all tastes good. It's all about flavor that's caused by minerals that is desirable to the human race. And when you have healthy, delicious food, everyone likes it. My dog. I mean, everybody eats my food. It's, just, it's delicious. Um, I have a subscriber who says that they have a family history of gluten intolerance and celiac disease and cannot eat modern uh, wheat. Gluten-free wheat um, doesn't taste very good. Do you have any alternatives for them? I would avoid wheat totally and just get into things like oats and bran you know, other, other grains that are good and just cut off wheat. I mean, you can live without it. Um, someone said that parts of uh, Swiss chard are poisonous, is that true? Rhubarb, not Swiss chard. Nothing in Swiss chard is poisonous, but rhubarb, the, the, leaf, the leaf is poisonous. The stem is good, but the leaf is poisonous. But Swiss chard, all of it's good. That's a, that's a, that's a completely okay. incorrect statement. Uh, one time you said that your wife was reading a book about the acids in our bodies. Do you remember the title of it or the author? You know I don't. I wish I did because it was so good. It was really a good book and he really made things quite clear that, you know, how negative acid is in our, in our diet. And I have no idea where that book is or the title, I'm sorry. But it was a guy? It was a man, yeah. Okay, so at least we have that. <laughs> yes, a man. And, he, and he was, it, was, it was all about acid alkaline in your body. And a statement he made that arrested my attention my attention has totally changed my life was he said all pain and all disease comes from an acid condition and he's right I put it to the test I ate nothing but live food and all the pain left my body it was incredible okay. here in where we live <clears throat> what can I plant today tomorrow that will do well for the season well all your greens and you, you, you're still you can there's about there's hardly anything you can't plant now to okay. make it. This is June's a great time to plant, so you can plant anything now. Okay. See, my greens I plant, I probably plant like four or five times a year. You see, as soon as I begin to eat, eat arugula, spinach, lettuce, cilantro, um, I plant the next planting so they always have nice tender stuff coming progressively because my, you know, bolts so quick because it grows so fast. So I always have to have stuff progress. Look at my spinach, look how beautiful, look how thick and heavy that stuff is. You see how dark that at the end there? Look, look at that, the size of that stuff. I mean, it's huge. That's just spinach I just planted, you know, a, a month ago. I mean, it's dramatic how fast things grow, you know, how big they get. And it's delicious. you got to go eat that, and it's so good. See, my challenge is, is, is keeping up with stuff because it grows so fast. I love it. You know, I'm, I'm being pushed because it's just like, man, as soon as I plant something, it's like, I had a guy come by and say, I can't believe your arugula's already done. I says, yeah, man, this is, things don't last long here because they just grow so quickly. Over here in the garden, it looks like Paul has only left planted asparagus. Looks like maybe some uh, kale or spinach. And... Probably some spinach here, some greens though. So greens and asparagus is what he has. And he just cleared out most of this. Here, he just planted something. In that row there, oh it looks, oh. here we have um, a row as well. So it looks like this is all just freshly planted which is why um, he's watering the freshly planted. 
all of this. Here looks all empty and clear. Except right here is a row of something. Um, what is this? Little green stuff. I don't really want to get into his garden right now because it's hard to see when something's planted or not. Oh, can't see it on camera. Uh, well, anyway, there's a little row there. Um, there might be a row of something here. And here might be a row. No, that's empty. Here we go. That's the stuff that's coming up more, though. This here is what cilantro. Cilantro there. And this here he did just plant this. So he is giving it a fresh watering. And this here is fairly new as well. Now we can walk on it. Well, when that water gets on there, you just sink into it. <laughs> and this is some kale. Looks like he was just starting to plant here. 